Oh yeah. Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> oh, it's been a while. He broke so fast. <laughs> Mikey, I like how Mikey, just... Mikey, lay a CRT filter over that just then. <laughs> no, shut the up. The crappier the bet, the crappier the better. I thought I'd handed this off to you to edit. Me? Yes, you. No, uh, uh, because in the very beginning you were referencing yourself. No, I wasn't. I didn't say anything. Yeah, you said, oh, it was just after the click, Mikey. No, I, I said that so that whoever was editing this would have an easier time doing... Mm. What game should... is this? What game are we playing today? <laughs> this is the Mooga Man X4, one yeah. of the greatest Mega Man X games uh, to me and a couple other few. <laughs> a couple other few. Well, we've been talking about uh, the Mega Man X games between the three of us for like 10 years, but we've never actually played them. Is he doing what I think you he's are... doing? <laughs> oh my God. You are exactly thinking. <laughs> Is he, did, he really, did that really just happen? Yeah, yeah, he was... Welcome to X4, baby! I don't oh, think yeah. the Japanese people who made this game realized what that looked like. I'm going to give them the benefit of the, of the doubt on that one, but, uh... Yes, because nobody are on that... Nobody who lived through that period of time knew what that meant. Japan's got know, a it's, weird... It's it's like Jinx from Pokemon looking like a blackface actor uh, in, like, a general yeah. thing. It, it, I mean, Japan was in World War II, so they should I know, clearly know. Never, they were in a never mind. Let's theater. talk about... <laughs> let's talk about the game. <laughs> <laughs> We we're already trying to cancel this game. Are you are we trying to get to get get us canceled, it. my friend? Okay. Um. Welcome back to Game Mavericks. Leave a message after the fart. <laughs> <laughs> no, the game itself. We're 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 the good guys. We're fighting the the Robo. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> okay, I'm excited to finally watch this diarrhea. It's more good really than have any audio on my Quattro. end. Oh well, Mega I'll Man Achy Breaky it. Heart Edition. <laughs> you guys can hear it though, right? Yes. <laughs> I can also barely hear Mikey every time he laughs. <laughs> hey, look, it's Deep Space Nine. What the hell is what? Deep Space Nine? One of the best TV shows ever made. What the yes. hell is Star Trek? <laughs> what the fuck is a you car guys, track? I, can't hear. I forgot Audio. what video that's from. Uh, oh, whatever. What the fuck is a Sonic? Yeah, what? It's a John Chan. Yes, it was when he did Sonic R. All right, right. before he put on the hands. We'll start with X oh, yeah. or zero. Uh, let's do X. X. First. Let's do X. Then we then we can come back tomorrow and do zero later. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you would do zero. Uh, so what? You have to explain to me what's happening, even though I'm watching it. No, uh, Ethan. Earlier you said that. Yeah, that's Sigma. So they reveal that he's live Is immediately. It? Yes, he has the It's scratches. secret. How can you tell? He has the scratches. That could be anybody. I mean, Grizzly Slash has scratches on his face, and but you know we don't say he's Sigma. Oh, Alonzo. <laughs> now Ethan is actually wrong. We did play X one back yeah. in the day. Yeah, yeah, we did. I'm talking about X four, five, and six specifically. Yeah, yeah, the favorite of the series, at least for me. Because we're skipping X two and X three because those games suck. No, they're really good. It's just I haven't no, played suck. them enough to where I can easily play they're them awesome. as X four. I just haven't played them before. Yeah, so, enough. So that means that we have to get someone really bad at video games like Mikey to finish them for the show. <laughs> You're very good at video games, Mikey. Right. Go easy on hey. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, did you see my performance during uh, the end of the world in Sonic 06? I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> Ethan, edit in a fart. Quick question, do we want to actually read the audio, or can I just blast through this? Um, we'll just sum it up. X is gonna go to the Sky Lagoon to stop Mavericks or something. Yep. Sweet. <laughs> you really <laughs> skipped through that. I can skip yeah. through it. <laughs> I mean, I don't think most people are watching a playthrough of Mega Man X. And the first thing I do in every game now, because Mikey ruined me... Is to go fuck up the controls? Yeah. No, it's not fucking up because it actually works so much better. No, uh, this is the one time Alonzo has a controller and he is not fucking up the controls before we start recording. <laughs> oh yeah, that's something he used to do. 
That's something we can't do anymore because we play in different states. We do virtual. Now, X in this game is voiced by a 12-year-old girl. Aren't they always? Well, he's not He's not voiced by a 12-year-old girl in the next 5 and X6. Or, um, is he voiced he's at voiced all? by an 11-year-old girl. <laughs> well, like in X... In X7, he's voiced by Peter Van something, and then in X8, he's voiced by Mark Gotha, who is now a dentist, apparently, according to Jay's reviews. <laughs> That's the most Mega Man X thing ever. That's the most Mega Man thing ever. You're a Dragoon, You're a dragoon. from the 14th unit. Blah, 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 blah. Why'd you betray us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one? Is this the one with the, with the terrible translation of, like, Octoparo? <laughs> Is this no, one of, no, is no. this it, the Mega Man game with the terrible translation? As if most of them didn't have terrible translations until like X eight. This is the 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 where they do the voice Actually, acting, but it's like the same that, team but, that's the uh, the Yui people. Yes. Like this. Why game don't has, we actually read the audio? I don't know. Because read, read the read the voices. I mean, I can do my famous voice acting if you'd like. But uh, no. Alonzo seems to well, want to get it on. That's with a it. good way to. That's a good way to add content to the <laughs> videos. Yeah, it's good feel it Increase good, that ad revenue. Yeah, that are non-existent yeah. ad revenue. It's gonna be zero dollars and zero cents. That's why we're doing. We're streaming this on X so that way we can get that Elon money. <laughs> 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 we're streaming the X <laughs> <from> <laughs> X. <laughs> X um. <laughs> we got jokes today, Alonzo. Oh. Nice work. <laughs> <laughs> you you quickly one of my favorite games. Games. <laughs> You've quickly become our second best member on this channel. <laughs> now, excuse me. I don't like that that's implying. We're, we're all the best member. <laughs> I'm just... Yeah. You've now passed... You're now almost as good as me on this channel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> you now pull more weight. You pull almost as much weight as I do. <laughs> I've edited two episodes so far. Look at how much weight I'm going, Mikey. Oh my god, our first episode of Mario is going live tomorrow, and I'm excited for the worldwide reaction. Did you finish the thumbnail? No, I haven't. This is the first time I've been on my computer since you made the suggestion to me. Okay. Uh, originally, Alonzo was going to edit this, but uh, he got some jail time, so unfortunately he doesn't have time to edit it right now. Yeah, he's playing on his prison CRT TV. <laughs> It, oh, one of those clear ones that are made of plastic? Yeah. Well, they're all made of plastic, but yeah, clear. That way you can see the components inside. Mm. I'm surprised his audio isn't so... Like, echoey from all those walls in the jail. So this guy is Colonel. He's a member of the Repla Force and Zero's best friend or something. No, uh, he's dating his the... sister. Okay. Wait, is he well, actually yeah. dating his sister, or are they just love no, interests? No, love interest is his sister, the brother. Her and him were both created at the same time. Him was a combat unit, her was more like a, uh, I get it, I think like a, not a combat unit or something like that. Can't remember what it was, but yeah. That's why he fights, she doesn't, she's a support unit. Mm, so so later yeah, on, that's she war does between fight. those two. What was that? Later on, she does fight. She was a boss. Because you kill the brother, and he takes her core, and then he takes his combat abilities. Is that what happened? Yep, that little thing you're fighting there, that's Colonel's core. That was not clear at all. I guess I'll have to Mikey, pay yeah. attention next time. Mikey, teach Ethan how to edit in a CRT filter. No. <laughs> it, you're doing a lot to want to convince me to do all the editing myself just now. <laughs> um, so now Repla Force is doing a coup. They're just letting everybody know. They don't want to be ruled by the uh, the peoples no more. But does that is that really a coup then? If oh they my god, his voice, this dub is atrocious. <laughs> yes, Atrociously beautiful. And to think there are people out there who, like, complain about the Funimation dubs. Of what? Just, like, the new ones. In general? Yeah, in general. There are people who just, like, How dare you make any changes at all when localizing something from a different culture? And it's like, that's the point. <laughs> yeah. They did their best. Well, it's like apparently now they're trying to match the tone of the original 
even though like Japanese and English have different inflections in their voices, so it doesn't always equate, so it's yes. awkward in its own right. I like to <laughs> wonder who's renting a unit out to Sigma? It's like he just comes in, hey, I'd like to rent out this room, please. I'd like to rent out this room, please. <laughs> Is that <laughs> That's what he sounds That's what like? Sigma so <laughs> I like your voice I like your voice of Sigma. Make sure you add that to the Mikey uh sound banks. Okay. And now and we have now double. My Maverick Hunters, what will you do? <laughs> what, is, what does what does double sound like? Um, I think he sounds if like uh, James Jimmy. Bond or something. So this is giving the rundown on the locations. We'll find out when we get there. Yeah. Marine yeah, but, base. I'm not excited for. But basically, what happened is Sigma sent Megma Dragoon to the Sky Lagoon and crashed. <laughs> And he made it look like the Repliforce did it, so that the Maverick Hunters would get mad at Repliforce, so that Repliforce and Maverick, the Maverick Hunters, would wipe each other out, so that Sigma could take over the world. I he thought he tricked the Colonel weapon into of the doing jungle. the... What is that? Was it? That's, that's what the text on the screen said. It said, he protects hmm. the secret weapon of the jungle. Oh, look at these graphics. They're almost as good as Mega Man 8. <laughs> it's better yeah, than 8. That game that we spent the entire time shitting on when we played it ten years ago. That wasn't ten years ago, that was like six and a half. Yeah, that was a long fucking time but, ago, though. Man, <laughs> you can only hit the boss when he unzips his pants. <laughs> <laughs> when he unfastens his pantaloons. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine a boss like in a game like this, like, zzz making a clear unzipping motion and that's and an attack comes out of the crotch i, I honestly can see that. that so funny i could honestly see that being in, in mega man 10. Uh, so why what i don't even know any of the lore or story behind this series at all the I'm x sure, series i'm sure we discussed it when we did x1 100 years ago but uh Yes, a hundred years ago is the key takeaway there, Mikey. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> so, so, speaking X of a hundred years... Robot. Yeah. Why don't you explain it, Lance, Ron? Uh, well, before, okay. before you start, I have to say, the Minnesota Wild are playing today. I'm just thinking of the song that Mikey puts on. <laughs> da, 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 Whenever da, da, they win or lose. Dun, 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 dun. And the fucking baby face he puts on every time I <laughs> mention every time I mention <laughs> hockey. <laughs> yes. Um Okay, the so asshole. the X series takes place a hundred years after the original series. Um and there's some shit. No, you said Alonzo is going to do it, you fuck. No, he's got it. I'm, I'm, I'm focusing on this yeah, right Alonso, now. My Alonso's brain, I'm trying to split it. <laughs> Alonzo okay, isn't as used to playing and though. talking at the same time as I am, but uh, it takes place. I'm not good at chewing bubblegum and, and walking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so this takes place 100 years later. Basically, the gist is you remember the Roboenza virus from Mega Man 10? That can't be canon for this game. Well, like, oh, obviously boy. that wasn't originally intended, but it's like <laughs> continuity and all that. But it's sort of like, in that, in that game, Dr. Wily created a virus, right, that affects robots. And then, eventually, he created Zero, that gets revealed in this game. Dr. Wily, Dr. Crea Wily created Zero? Yes. Yep. Um, and he, he created uh, Zero as a carrier for the Maverick virus. Um, and then Sigma fought Zero when he found Dr. Wily's old lab where Zero had been sealed up. And in the process, the virus got transferred from Sigma, from Zero to Sigma. Um, so Zero became a good guy, and then Sigma obviously became the new avatar for the virus. So that's why he's the bad guy for the series. Meanwhile, uh, Dr. Light created X, and he created X... I assume the original Mega Man got killed by Wily at some point, so he had to make a new There's, Mega Man. The theory is that it was Zero that killed him, because yeah. he was, like, successful at it. So, and, um, at, like, when he create when Dr. Light created X, he was like, okay, I'm gonna make the most advanced robot I can possibly imagine, one that is capable of emotion and rational thought, and has hopes and dreams, and yada yada yada. 
Uh, which does, does the original Morgan Man not have hopes that's, and dreams? That's exactly it. It's it's like all of the robots in the original series act like they have those things, so I don't really know what the difference is supposed to be. We must I not fight! We were, use our animals! I yeah. think they're stuck with like, X is the... like X is like, fuck you! <laughs> I think they're stuck <laughs> with like, they, they can't like, hurt, harm... Actually, no, that does oh, not... Oh yeah, the, not right at, the Isaac Asimov laws of robotics. Um, yeah, I think that's that's what happens is like they're not written in with the uh, this version. Yeah, which is what makes them, which is what allows them to go maverick and harm humans specifically. Now, what is a maverick? A maverick is okay. So Us. X got sealed away in a capsule for fifty years or something, right? What was it fifty or a hundred? Uh, I think it was like Doctor Light created him when he was very old. I think in like. Uh, the Mega Man X remake on PSP, he's like old and coughing when he records his final message and then it seals him away. So I think it was supposed I mean, to be like 50 years after the original I mean, series. Dr. Wow, Dr. Light was not going to live another 50 years. <laughs> well, he, he lives in the future of 2000 XX. They might have um, medical advancements. You don't yeah, know that. Yeah, they got free healthcare. Yeah. I, do you think that, do you think that Wiley and Light are an allegory for Trump and Biden? I don't think so. I don't no. think they thought that far ahead. Man, they really future proof that series, huh? Uh, Trump is Dr. Doppel from X3. I don't think Trump would ever have a doctorate. Womp womp. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so X gets sealed in the capsule for 50 years, and I think the logic was I need to run a diagnostic on X to make sure he won't start killing humans when I let him out of the pod. I th what thing was the idea, so he did that. Um, stop that. I'm trying to explain the plot. Stop playing the camel fart. I'm talking, you fucker. You son of a bitch. You cock juggling <laughs> you better. thunder cunt. <laughs> uh, so X wakes. Uh, X's pod is discovered by a scientist named Doctor Kane. Kane, yeah. And then Doctor Kane studies X and realizes, "Wow, this is the most advanced robot I've ever seen. These designs Does sure are Dr. good." Doctor Kane sound like this? No, um, I don't think you ever hear what he sounds like. No, wait, Doctor. I, I think yeah, in the Day of Sigma. Uh, yeah, that sounds it. just like this. So, uh, Michael Kane. Michael Kane. Are you done? No. <laughs> no. Uh, maybe he sounds like Steve Buscemi. You think God stays in heaven because he's afraid of his own creations? That's Steve Buscemi. 